Hey guys, welcome back. It's another week of blind wine tastings. Uh, this week on the show, we've got six wines, all under $25, or $25 or less sort of thing. Uh, also, uh, from last week, the Delinquente guys are back. Uh, Noah's still not here because he's now living in Melbourne, but he'll be back in other videos, don't worry. Um, so Delinquente, gonna have a taste of these, see how they go. I've got myself a notebook. I feel like such a professional now. Right, what's that on the back? Little Magic 38, hey? Maybe you want to try some light, juicy red wine. Maybe you should check the link in the description and buy some of that. Also, if you want more wine that we didn't make, different drop, obviously giving you 10% off on all of these. There's a link to the code in the Discord. Let's get into the wine. Hi, I'm Millie. I work for uh, Delinquente Wine Co. slash Pizarro. And I'm here to taste some wines, all under $25. And I really don't know what I'm doing. I just do what I'm told. I'm not a winemaker. I'm not trained, so. Let's go, wine number one. Damn, smells like great Riesling. It smells like really, really good Riesling. That sulfur on the nose, sort of like, you can sort of sting it, to be honest, sometimes for that, but I, I personally find it, it gives it a, almost like a metallic feeling, which I personally adore. Fresh cut grass. I mean, if you're not new here, then you'll have heard me say that all before. Quite mineral on the palate. Mm, this is quite nice. It's quite acidic, like it's really sticking to my insides of my mouth there. If you're not rolling on a champagne budget and I'm coming to your house, serve me this, please. That's actually really impressive for its price point. Like there is a leanness, a minerality. It's already showcasing that really, really lovely petrol aroma. I like it though. That's cool that it's under $25. Um, it, it does taste like, this is the thing. It does, it tastes like it's under $25, but it is under $25. So what do you want from it? Um, one number one, Riesling. Maybe you'd get like a six spot, like a six pack, and you'd get like a deal for that six. Um, and what did I say? 21. 21. Wine number two. This is my tin foil hat moment. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, definitely more gold and darker hue. So there's this saying in Australia. Um, it's about uh, a certain type of grape that we make a lot of in boxes. Fruity Lexia. This smells like Fruity Lexia, which is cool. I like it. I also think that it has maybe seen a little bit of oak in its time too, stabbing in the dark. But yeah, it's got a good amount of length to it. The mouthfeel is like still with me now after a little bit. Yeah, yummy. Hell yeah, yummy. If you're not serving me Riesling, serve me this. I would happily drop 30 bucks for this because there is like a lot of this made and a lot of it is made poorly. A lot of it's made very sweet. This one's a bone dry example. I would happily buy, I'd buy six of these. It smells cheap. It smells sweet. It smells fruit forward. Um, let's call it musket. Musket, duh. I can't be bothered writing it all out. I'm Australian, that's why they called it Fruity Gordo. Yeah, I think this is like a variety that could go like right up to that kind of like $24 mark and be its own kind of thing. Or it's a bit obscure and it's kind of been sat on the shelf for a little bit and it's kind of dropped and it's got a sale on or something like that. A but... <laughs> little bit of sort of fun back palette, sort of puppy breath thing going on as well, which is, I mean, a little bit questioning. It's a little bit furry, but that's not taken me away from wanting to enjoy the wine. I really do enjoy the wine. 40 bucks for that at a restaurant, I'd be fucking thrilled. So like retail, wholesale price, yeah, 20 bucks. Sounds great. 20, I'll have a dozen. Thank your mother for the rabbits. This one is not gonna be my favorite of the whites. Palette weight is great. Love the palette weight. Totally dig the palette weight. Love that it's not just too overbearing. It's like a, we're gonna make it like a tannin ripping face melting skin contact wine here. They haven't done that. Bit nutty, bit nutty. Stop laughing at my nutty noises, dude. That's what I always say when I say nutty shit, dude. Just doing nut stuff. I can't wait to talk to people about this. <laughs> Pick their brains. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think I would, I'm gonna put that down the lower end of the spectrum. I, I don't reckon I would pay more than like $18 for that. They've kind of given you just enough for interest without pushing it beyond the borders of, of what would be deemed crazy. Very approachable. Would love to have this like with any kind of fermented meat, salumi. Yeah, awesome. Boring white wine. It's got its place. What are the odds that that's Brendo's favorite? Uh, I'd pay 15 bucks a bottle for that one and I'll just have the wine. It's fine, don't get me wrong, but like I just had it after some pretty Lexia and no comparison. <laughs> Mm, it smells like Merlot. Um, smells like uh, like black olive tapenade. Epitomite. Yep, cheap red wine. It's really good. It's like cherry blossoms. I'm kind of into this. Like it's a bit spicy. It doesn't have a huge amount of fruit on the nose. Like it's yeah, it's, it's a little bit lean. Would go good in the fridge in summer. It's really hot in this room. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> 
Look, it is so delicious that we've even had a friend, you know, so fucking flies love this shit. Indoors flies love this. What variety will it be though? This is like, this is like, um, I want to drink Pinot, but I can't afford to drink Pinot sort of wine, which I really fuck with. Yeah, I'm gonna say 22. I'll buy a couple of bottles. Yeah, I think I'd buy maybe two, I think. Yeah. Ah, it could be like a, a Pinot, it could be a Cinso. Would happily pay 40 bucks a bottle and have done for, for very similar examples. If that's also Syrah, that's really impressive. To get that sort of flavor profile with taking such a risk. I would pay, I'd pay 35 bucks a bottle for that, just straight up. Like it, it's, it, that's my favorite wine so far. I'll have a dozen of it. Um, it's just this really bright cherry thing. What could it be? Grenache? No. I don't know. I like it though. Uh, one number five. <laughs> A bit darker, a bit more serious. Smells great too. Yeah, this is like luscious. Like that's, it is luscious all heck. There's, there's lashings of oak here. There's a lot of extract. It's <laughs> a lot. Wow. Number six. <laughs> my face is puckering a lot because it's like, it feels like there's little claws on the inside of my mouth. Okay, contentious point. I we've we've quite often waged war on wines that look like this. This is clearly wine that's made purely from a recipe. Anyone can do this if you just do it to the right numbers, um, get to your right ripeness with a certain amount of extract, chuck in a certain amount of other shit into it, and boom, you've got this. Wow, wow, Tannin. You haven't got like a wine fridge at home. You're not like really like the wine wanker nerd of your group. If you like a big red, that is a cheap big red and it is tasty. That'd be great with a steak at a pub. 25, pub red, hell yeah, brother. Like just listen to some fucking akadaka, drink a bottle of that and watch the footy. That's sick. I need to impress my father-in-law tonight and currently I just can't take the moral high ground. Grab one of these. And I would happily pay 35 bucks a bottle and I would buy 12 because uh, my father-in-law drinks a lot. <laughs> Uh, all right, so, and last wine here. This is that sort of healthy middle ground between wine number four and wine number uh, five. It is wine number six. <sighs> oh, wow, that smells like paint. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish I hadn't gone so hard on the sniff. <coughs> That's like I went on a wine tour when I was 18 and I bought a bottle of Absap because I thought that that's what you should do. Like you should buy a bottle of wine and then you buy the one that looks the most serious because you're just 18, you want to look like you belong there. Nah. So you know when you talk about like, uh, so we're talking about wine number one, talking about fresh cut grass and shit like that. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like a bag of dried grass that's been sitting outside for ages. Shit, like I'd buy a dozen of those in comparison. To these other ones and I would say it's like a good middle ground like it's good delinquente spec like yeah, 24 yeah. 24 dollars like they're not up at the bracket of 25 but they're like it's a solid drinking wine it's made that you open the bottle and you just want to keep drinking it people drink them with monotonous regularity it's really great wine but um I would buy six of them because I got 12 of the last one which I think is a little bit more interesting uh, to be honest but that's all for me let's see what the rest of the guys think all right um gang mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here Millie it's really kind of you to hop on the show with us um Six wines under $25. What did we think? Did we like it? Did we think they tasted cheap? Do we think they tasted more expensive? What did you think? Maybe I have a cheap tasting wine, but I quite enjoyed some of them. Yeah, man, 100%. Like, I just thought there were some really good solid wines here that you could just easily take along with you to any party or anything like that. Like, There's some cracker wines here. There's yeah. some wines here. I actually played the game. I know you don't like it when I do this, knowing full well what the price is. No, I played the same game. You played the same game? So, whereas... What's the game? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> So when we know that they're less than 25 bucks, right? So yeah. it's like... Are you buying like three dozen? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, well, we know it's sort of like a little bit null and void saying that you would pay 40, 50, 60 bucks. So it, but I think it's really meaningful to, to be honest, at least with the, the audience, yeah. that, um, that like how much would I actually pay for this? And there is yeah. like some wines here that I've paid a lot of money for in other circumstances that look and taste exactly like yeah. these ones. Yeah. I think there was some, I went I went up and down, then up and down, then up yeah. and down. So the game is ignoring the things that we know and just saying how much we'd actually pay for them. But I only, it only really came into effect for one because the rest I paid less than $25 for, so it's fine. Um, but let's start with wine number one. Yep. Uh, naturally, it's a good spot to start. I was thinking sort of like Riesling, Pinot Gris territory. Quite liked it, but it's just not my style of wine, I don't think. I ended up getting three bottles for $25. Any thoughts from you two? What do you reckon, Millie? I said it tasted like the first wines I drank from my mom's glass when I was really young. And, oh, um, awesome. Yeah, that she... Was that a good memory or a bad memory? It was a beautiful memory. Like, 
I work in the wine industry now, which is hilarious um, because, yeah, I would have never guessed it tasting goon from my from the fridge as a kid. So you think this is goon from the fridge? No, because it's clearly in a bottle and it's clearly under $25, but it's not going to be down there. Don't think different drop, you know, sell free Alexia. But, <laughs> but yeah, I just said like, this is a nice wine. I could take it to anything. I could, you know, happily drink it with a friend and drink the whole bottle. I could take mm. it to a dinner party and not be sad that I only got half a glass, you know? Like it's yeah. kind of yeah, like, yeah, it goes yeah, either yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, yeah. Good point. Lockie, how much was it? <laughs> now, Barker, back to WA, back to Western Australia. What? Um, yes, I know we have a Mount Barker in South Australia, oh, but that is yes, definitely yeah. not. Those vines are now houses. So yeah, it's true. I've driven past it on the freeway. I've driven past it. Uh, yeah, cracker, um, really, really good value. I mean, Riesling is something that we do really well in Australia for really good prices as well. So there's Man. a lot of options out there. This is a good one. Like uh, everything that you've so just good. said about that, like yeah. taking along to a dinner party, get half a glass or drink the whole bottle. Half the bottle with you and a friend. Uh, and well, have a good or time. a bottle, you know, like or old. Yeah. whatever. Be Responsibly. Yeah. True, hundred <laughs> percent. Maybe you finished all your work for the day. Maybe you're at work drinking wine with two people. Who knows? Uh, anyway, wine number two. I fucking love this. Of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. It tastes like like a musket gewurzy. Musket. <laughs> yeah. Musket Alessandri. Did you just put musket D? Yeah, I couldn't yeah. call it right, Alexander. <laughs> Yeah, it, look, it's either a musket like variant or it's like a Gewürzy thing. It's that wonderful sort of um, uh, rose water, light cheese, everything nice. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Uh, love, yeah. love wines like this. I think they're so underrated, especially in Australia, considering like the amount of Asiatic food we have. Mm. Like if you want to have wine with bar and me, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like a no-brainer. Coriander, yeah. chili? Hell yeah. yeah. Um, what do you guys wanted to pay bottles? What did you think? I, I wanted to pay 30 bucks. I didn't think it was sort of worth more than that because you can get like a lot of these wines pretty pretty quickly. I mean, I know it's 25 or less, but um, I only wanted six though, uh, mainly because I bought 12 Rieslings and I just think that <laughs> I don't need six of these when I have 12 of those. <laughs> yeah, fair. How many did you get? Six. Okay, right. I said it was, so I didn't do any prices over 25 because I didn't know that was the game. No, um, it's no. not the game. But it was, it was up there, so it was 24. It was one of the two $24 bottles that I had here. Nice. Yep. Uh, you know, top tier within the 25 range. And yep. I went for two because unlike you, it's not really my style. Like I want something it's that's sickly. like, yeah, it's just it was a little bit too floral. It's a little bit too, like it's a bit, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's a, it's, it's very incense -y. Like that's one of the things that I think yeah. I like. A lot of people find it appealing. Like I'd have a glass, but like coming back for like multiple, it would I need to be stone drink cold. A whole bottle. Like yeah. you know, like no. I'd drink a glass, and I think I said like I'd want to take it to work and talk about it. You know, like I'd yeah, want to yeah, 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 yeah. it a bit. Yeah. Um, it's just not a common varietal that I'll pick off the shelf. Yeah. How much was it like? Nailed it. Hey, nicely done. Nailed so, it. Don't make me wear that hat. We, can't, <laughs> we won't make you wear that hat. Seems incredible. <laughs> So uh, Pecorino, no Fiano? Fiano. Fiano, Pecorino, Pinot Gris. Okay, okay, okay. There's something going on here, guys. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is, that is not Fiano, Pecorino, Pinot Gris. <laughs> <laughs> there is. I know it says it, but I do wonder whether or not with some there are some clones or some. I know there's only two clones of Fiano in Australia at the moment. But Fiano Minotolo is actually not Fiano, which is actually a synonym for another great variety that actually comes in from um, uh, the other side, the Adriatic side of Italy. And it is a musket. And, and there is talk that there is Fiano in Australia that's being sold as Fiano. It's actually Fiano. a musket. And, and the giveaway is that it smells like and musket. How much money do you put on that? I don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, right? Like, uh, I don't know. I've just never encountered either of those varieties, like Pecorino in particular. Fiano and Pinot Gris, and we all said- This is an interesting blend. Yeah, but like mm. unsolicited, you're on Gewurz, an aromatic grape yeah. variety. You're on Musca yeah. Sandra, and I'm on Musca D or, or Gewurz as well. It's really obviously aromatic. There's something going on there. Love that you're calling it Musket D already, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll super Mucky D. Mucky D, <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. Why did they change it to Pretty Lexia? That's a way better name yeah. for the Australian market. Um, I like it. Uh, oh. Number three, I did not like this wine. I thought it was a boring white wine. Uh, oh, it's orange. I think it's been fermented on skins for a little bit. Uh, and I it's think just, it's sort of like, orange. yeah, I, I, it depends. Like, of course you, like, you loved 12 of these, right? You really love that. And that's a yeah, big yeah, chunk yeah, of zero expression. Of these? I got one. Got uh, one. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I got also one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got 12 because I actually thought, oh. what, a, what? no, but what an awesome gateway to orange wine to yeah, someone yeah. that's not really interested in having that is something like so overblown. 
I'm not so sure on the nose, but the palette weight I thought was beautiful. I didn't like rate the nose at all. No, nah. it's not no. my cup of tea. The thing for me with that is being like an entry. I like we're sitting here looking at these ones. That nothing twigged in my brain that made me go that's orange. I, I just really, it was really, really for everyone's sake, There's hope it's not time. a delinquente wine. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> it won't be. Yeah, I don't think it is. No, I don't but think I mean, is. this could be really great content. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good content. And Stipper Drop and Lockie are playing us all. Absolutely. <laughs> um, twenty-eight bucks and twelve. Wow. I said 18 and 1. I had 1 or 15. 15? Yeah. It's rough as guts. How much was it, Lockie? Oh, this is a good one. Looks like it's straight up. Riolano. Video clip. Uh, uh, and Picolit. So these are all great varieties, I believe, from well, well north. Friuli north um, of Italy. How do you pronounce that? Friolano. Friolano. Yeah. Never heard of that before. Great variety. Plenty of uh, amazing producers playing around with it. Queerly is one of note. Um, so and who this is this producer? This is a producer, I believe, from WA, I want to say, from Western Australia. And all Fitzroy. 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 Not WA. Almost the opposite. The, the exact opposite. <laughs> the exact opposite. <laughs> exact opposite. <laughs> MTI wine. Uh, we've tried, I think, this Sangiovese before years ago mm. on the show and really enjoyed it, but um, unfortunately, no cigar with these guys today, but definitely for me. I didn't, like, it, it's not offensive, it's fine, it's just. Uh, all the other wines were more interesting to me. Well, moving on to the other wines, okay. wine number four, I spent the most amount of money on this. Same. I did not. Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, man, I was into this. I, I... thought this was really cool. Oh yeah, this is that black olive tapenade number. Yeah, it's yeah. salty. Mm. What were the varieties? Do you reckon it was like a, a whole bunch of Syrah or like a Merlot? That was where my sort of head went with it. My gut. Gut. Feel it in the in the jelly. I was definitely That's thinking like I was definitely thinking whole bunchy. Like as soon so for me, I was thinking it's like early season plums that are a little bit too green to be eating yes. still. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um where it's got that sort of now you say olive tapenade and now it's all I can smell. Yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. said it was a bit like it's a bit salty and briny. Briny, sort of, yeah, like that yeah. kind yeah. of like it's like yeah. artichokes. You know that sort of like uh, what do they call them? Like like preserved artichokes. Yeah. yeah. I think it's it's like black olive tapenade is a classic descriptor for something like Merlot. You'd almost go as far as to say a little bit like Cabernet Franc if it mm. wasn't oh, if it wasn't lacking the stemminess. But I thought it was great. I, I didn't want that much. It was funny. It's like this is the most I spent on, but I only wanted oh. three. Oh. I wanted a dozen. I wanted to pay thirty-five dollars a bottle for it, which wow. is huge in a twenty-five dollar bracket. Hundred percent. Yeah, I said twenty-two, and I'd buy two because I was a bit on the fence as to kind of. I think I'd take it to like my serious wine drinking friends. I'd also and give like the other pick one. it apart like with my work colleagues. Mm. Right. Um, there is there is a theory of buying two, one for yourself, and then one to inflict on somebody else, like like that's someone you hate. Harsh. Hell yeah. Brendan's Come a to my house. house. If I ever get a bottle of wine from you, I'm gonna be like, wondering. It's like, am I? Is this an infliction game? Did he like me? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Lockie. What was it? What have we got? Early wine. Garden red. Is it a blend? It is a blend. Otherwise, I would have told us surely the grape variety on the front of the bottle. Dun, dun, dun. Hunt Road, Victoria, all bunches in the mix, pressed all bunches in the mix. Mm. It's just a garden red. Garden red. It's, it's from, nice. From the, like garden, it from the garden. I want to know what this is. I reckon it's like a Syrah blendy thingy. Cold stream. Yeah, well, you can reckon things all day, mate. Like, like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make it real. <laughs> cool. Number five. Pub red, this is just like, I'm having a schnitzel Mate. and this is the house red that's heavy on the list. This is a 12 bagger from me. 12? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, no, I didn't uh, like this yeah, at I, all. I, I bought zero. Zero. I, I zeroed it. And how much? I wanted nothing to do with it. I said it was a $16 wow. bottle of wine. Wow. But you just Damn. questioned if I made $15. Yeah, like, I didn't know because I was like, sorry that away for later. I just thought this was like, it's a fairly large winery. They're pumping out a lot of it and... Oh, totally. Like. That totally. It's a, it's a conventional red that just, uh, to it's, me, it's, it's just not my cup of tea. Mega purple in a glass. Like, that's what it is. Yeah, it's like, it it's like, like X it's... amount of tannin, X amount of acid, X amount of irrigation. Boom. Man, we got wine. Yeah, yeah. it is wine. How much was it, Lockie? <laughs> hey, cool. Reservative free. Hey, man. So, Penley, we have had. Yeah. Um, Sauvignon uh, Blanc. I can't rap. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Perhaps I'm. It really Honest Savion Blanc I have yeah. ever seen. I'm in lunch. <laughs> this was essentially lunch. <laughs> this is, yeah, yeah, this is lunch. Wine is carbs. Um, Penley Estate, one of the larger estates, and there are really only large estates minus a handful in Coonawarra. Um, mm. We did mention these in encounters some of their wines uh, the last couple of weeks on the mm. show. 
Um, they are one of, and I'll say it again for those who missed it, probably the, the one brand in Australia, like big traditional brand that has gone through like a rebranding process mm. and nailed it. Yeah. And they're doing like still, wines that are better than like like they ever have been. been. Yeah, I would almost buy the, I would buy the but, bottle. Yeah, put yeah. flowers in it. Based on the idea of putting a candle in it. Or yeah, the flowers totally. it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and the fact that it's preservative free, no sulfur. Also, sulfur. you do own wineries. Why don't you just make heaps more wines that have the no label? I think that looks so sick. Because I don't like it. Okay, well, that's, that's a good true. reason. <laughs> and I pay the bills. Uh, yeah, that's a really, that's an even better reason. That's an even better reason. Let's move right along. Wine number six. All right. Nah, big no. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Favorite one. Uh, I, was, I was like up there. I was like six. And I thought, like, I thought this was appropriately priced at 25. I didn't want to go further. I think that smells like a freshly painted house is what I think that sounds like house paint I also did give it a really big strong sniff the first time it might have just ruined this my could be that VA that's, that's a VA thing that's that's volatile citizen at um now yeah, I really like it. this I thought that the nose wasn't very like very anything but mm. I thought that the taste was delicious I mean I wanted six and I thought it was pretty pretty like appropriately priced it was a great little Shiraz I bought a um, dozen wow. hey into it. I into bought it. a dozen I was like can I buy a dozen like I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna do it because cool. I liked it Cool. Oh, yeah. this is, and and, and this I said is, 24. You haven't actually bought like that many. No, I haven't. This was my favorite. Oh, shit. Between that and number one. Yeah, but I mean, maybe that says a lot about me. Yeah. <laughs> As a person, I don't know. All right, Lockie, where are we at? The best taste of the world. Lockie, yeah. yeah. See, Interesting label. The really great use case for all of these wines, honestly, and this is how I've always done them, like in the past, is navigating to a website like Different Drop where they offer like a discount off like a six pack or something. And you're like, you've actually gone and bought the wines that you really want to and they're probably kind of expensive. You know, you've kind of got your, you've got your Dr. Ed Chardonnays in there. Mm. You know, you've got your, your amazing Yarra Valley, you know, Cabernet, you, you know, you're stacking them up and you're like, look, if I chucked in a 20 buck bottle right here, the discount that I'm going to get off 10% off the rest of these wines, it's basically free wine. Basically free. Yeah, yeah 100%. That's wine that's, that's, that's how you hack the system, my friends. That's wine That's, that's, that's wine, wine That's wine It's wine free, guys. Yeah, it's essentially it's free. Wine. free. As long as you buy 180 bucks off Different Drops website. Yeah, 100%. Um, well, one of the lineups going to be contentious this week, I feel. Ah, uh, yeah, is it? Everyone kind of likes this. So if you're buying yeah. a cheap bottle of wine, it's probably better to get something that everyone's kind of going to like. Yeah, it's true. Riesling, so. can't go wrong. Yeah. And we're blessed thought, in this country. Who would have thought cheap wine, Australian Riesling, good option. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you so much for being on the show, Millie. Thanks, thanks, thanks Millie. Thanks, See you guys. Catch you next ciao, week. Ciao, ciao.